So Agora is a financial news earth. A billion plus dollars a year in revenue for selling newsletters. That's a lot of revenue to generate from selling newsletters. All right, we're going to talk about what you can learn from the best newsletter businesses. So newsletter is just the email newsletter that you get that's keeping you updated on subjects that you're interested in. By the way, what do you think is the best newsletter business if you had to pick one? Agora? Yeah, I would say Agora too. So Agora is a financial newsletter. Think about like stock trading, hedge funds, economy, and they have a lot of different divisions like Stansberry Research, Agora Financial, Money Map Press. They're all owned by, I think the guy's name is Bill Bonner. And Agora, I don't know what they're doing this year, but I remember because we've done quite a bit of their marketing over the years. It's a billion plus dollar revenue company and it may be a little bit down or a little bit more, but that's a lot of revenue to generate from selling newsletters on a you know annual basis. Like just think about that. A billion plus dollars a year in revenue for selling newsletter. I think it's impressive. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to play it, but I think Agora probably played it the best. Their monetization vehicles are for their own products. And so it could be like a mastermind or it could be a subscription that costs, you know, uh, $5,000 a year, $10,000 a year. There's like proprietary research that they that they do. And they have a lot of events and things like that, right? And people that are really interested in, in money or making money, they're naturally okay with spending on stuff like this. It is a massive business. The big thing that I've learned from the newsletter business, and this was just me as a marketer, wasn't actually related to newsletters. It was related to the concept of if you can get someone in to your funnel, your marketing funnel for something really cheap, free, like an email address or something for a dollar or five dollars, it's really easy to start selling them things that are a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. 10,000 takes a lot of work, but you can go upstream really quickly. And what I learned from Agora working from them is A, you need to go after a big TAM. TAM stands for total addressable market because as a marketer, the bigger market you go after, the easier it is to do marketing because you can just, you know, spray and pray in essence, target a lot of people. So you don't have frequency issues with your ads. The second thing I learned from them is you just need to get people in the funnel and get them to buy something, even if it's a dollar's worth, because buyers are buyers and it's really easy to get people to buy more once they buy once, no matter how low that product was. But it's hard to get a new buyer to buy something, whether it's expensive or cheap. So just try to find something that you can sell profitably or break even on or lose a little bit of money selling knowing that you can generate way more revenue in the long run from people. Great example of Amazon, right? Amazon will sell people. Sometimes they'll lose money with things like Prime, but they know they'll make the money in the long run because people keep coming back and buying more and more and it makes them really profitable. What Neil is talking about is also known as a tripwire. So people in the internet marketing world will create a tripwire where you might sell something for a dollar or $10 or whatever. And the whole idea here is you collect a credit card and then you can figure out how you can upsell, downsell and things like that. So that is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, hit us on YouTube as well. And we'll see you later. Now, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to answer them and help you out. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell people about it. Thank you very much.